As the heat wave continues, Edmontonians have now also woken up to hazy skies hanging over the city as wildfire smoke moves in. Some of the wildfire smoke blowing towards Edmonton, but Environment Canada expects the smoke to remain high in the sky, not anticipating major air quality impacts. Wildfires are continuing to ramp up as the hot weather continues. So far this year, Alberta has recorded more wildfires than last year's total. However, the total amount of land burned remains less than a third of 2023's record-setting season. We are expecting these conditions to continue over the weekend, and firefighters are anticipating some challenges today. As of Friday afternoon, nearly 150 wildfires are burning in the province, about one-third of which are out of control, forcing the evacuation of more than 1,000 residents in Alberta. Residents of Chippewan Lake in northern Alberta were evacuated Thursday night as an out-of-control blaze burns towards the community. Currently, there's no imminent threat to the community, but the white wildfire is threatening the only exit route out of the community. On Wednesday, residents of the hamlet of Jeanvier, south of Fort McMurray, were issued an evacuation alert, being asked to prepare to leave on short notice. And Garden River residents east of high level have now been evacuated for more than one week from another out-of-control blaze. It has grown uh, quite a bit due to the you know hot weather conditions we've been having the last couple of days, and this heat wave doesn't help. Alberta Wildfire is anticipating challenging wildfire conditions over the weekend and have more than 240 firefighters and support staff from other jurisdictions to support wildfire response. The heat wave, overnight lightning and a shift in wind direction could lead to more new wildfire starts, extreme fire behaviour or changes in existing wildfire already burning on the landscape. A fire ban in Alberta's entire forest protection area remains in place. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.